Jim Beaverson here from Bowling Green High School Baseball. Just want to give a shout out to all my seniors who uh, unfortunately were not given the opportunity to play this year. Coming off a great year last year, we were 23 and 5. Uh, went to the regionals, won the NLL year prior with many of these same kids. Uh, finished second in the NLL with 18 and 10. So it's a great group of baseball players and even better group of young men. First off, I'd like to start with Kyle Jackson. He was all state, all district, all league honors. Um, he is going to be continuing his baseball career at Kent State University. Next is Micah Fry. Micah Fry is a great third baseman, good ball player, uh, all around uh, a great kid, a good leader on a team. He was all district and, and league, league honors last year. And I look forward to seeing Micah compete for a position out there at Bowling Green State University. Next is Peyton Bieberson, all district and league honors. Um, and my son and a proud of Peyton, a great second baseman. He's going to be continuing his collegiate career at Bluffton University. Luke Roberts, our number two pitcher uh, from last year's squad at just over 1.05 ERA, was a lefty. Um, great all-around potential as a pitcher. Um, and he will be continuing his collegiate career at Owens Community College. Next is Nick, Nick Foster. Played right field for us last year was a leader on the squad, uh, is, has many uh, utility positions he can fill and play in the infield, um, good all-around ball player, district honors. Next is Dylan Swalls. He's one of our pitchers, played first base a little bit, um, at just over a, a two and a half ERA. We were looking forward to great things from Dylan. Um, we saw that this summer and uh, in, in winter ball, he, he had greatly improved on his pitching mechanics and uh, we were looking forward to really good things. Andrew Robinette was our starting catcher uh, last year before he broke his thumb against uh, Defiance High School uh, where then he had to set out in rehab. But we were looking forward to having his bat back in the lineup and seeing him behind the plate also. Drew Ashman, who had recovered from an arm injury the previous year. He was looking great on the mound and he was gonna really help us out and he is gonna continue his baseball career at the University of Northwest Ohio. Justin Kerfis, uh, elected because of some injury issues to set out last year. He was one of our best pitchers uh, two years ago um, on our JBA team and we were looking forward to seeing what he could do on the mound. Jackson Bevins, who had played his freshman year and decided to come out back out the se his senior year and he hadn't lost a step. We were looking forward to seeing him at first base and do some hitting for us. Um, so Jackson Bevins. And then lastly is Kane Mesinger. He's a catcher and a utility player that was going to really add some depth to the team in the program. Uh, we really look forward to seeing Kane behind the plate and, and, and his baseball skills and knowledge and hustle on the field. So with that being said, I want to take a moment just to thank all the players, um, all the seniors in this program who, when I came in uh, three years ago as coach, I asked them to step up, buy in, and they certainly did. Um, last year, deservedly so, they, were, they saw a ranking in the Ohio High School Athletic Association coaches poll of number one in the state in Division Two This year we had intent and uh, wholeheartedly, I believe, we would have won the state championship. These boys are that dedicated and that committed to, to getting the job done. Um, if it's to be, it's up to me. And they would not have failed.